Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have the indefinite integral of x times the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth dx. So if you want a little hint, I had a request to do more trig subs, so that's exactly the way I'm going to solve this integral. But feel free to try something else if it's calling to you. Okay, before we get started with the trig sub, though, you might be thinking, I don't see how it's going to match one of the three trig substitutions that we use. Because remember, the three types that we have are when you have a squared plus x squared, you let x equal a tangent theta. When you have a squared minus x squared, we let x equal a sine theta. And then if the subtraction is the other way around, you have the variable quantity squared first minus the constant squared then we let x equal a secant theta. So right now we've got this x to the fourth, not x squared. It's fine. We're just going to do a substitution first before we get the ball rolling with the trig sub. So remember, x to the fourth is x squared squared. And you see this extra little x sitting out front? Yep, that's going to get absorbed when we do a u sub right now. So we're going to go ahead. Let's let u be just x squared then du is 2x dx. And that's almost exactly what I have. I just got to get rid of this 2. So 1 half du is x dx. Good? Okay, now let's rewrite our integral all in terms of u. So we'll have, let's take that 1 half outside. Get out of here. Integral square root 1 minus u squared du. So notice the x dx that became 1 half du, which is right here, 1 half du. And then the rest of everything I'm left with is just rad 1 minus u squared. So then now look at the three cases, which is appropriate for the trig sub that we're going to use here. We're going to let x equal a sine theta. And a is just 1 in this case. And then instead of x, our variable is u. So I'm going to let u equal 1 sine theta. Then du would be cosine theta d theta. Perfect. Okay, so our integral becomes 1 half integral square root 1 minus sine squared theta, and then du is cosine theta d theta. Perfect. Now here's where trig sub really shines. So we're going to use our Pythagorean identity, 1 minus sine squared theta, that's cosine squared theta. Square root of cosine squared theta is, that's right, absolute value cosine theta, but don't worry, we've restricted theta, so we can just ignore the absolute value. And basically I have a cosine theta here and another cosine theta here. So that's gonna give me cosine squared theta d theta. How are we doing? Okay, from here you should just go autopilot mode. You're like, ooh, cosine squared theta. I bust out the half angle identity. Cosine squared theta is equal to one half times one plus cosine two theta d theta. Boom, love it. Take that other half outside, so this is 1 fourth, and then we're ready to anti-differentiate. So antiderivative of 1 is going to be theta, and then antiderivative of cosine 2 theta would be 1 half sine 2 theta. Remember, 1 half to undo the chain rule from the 2, basically. We don't need to use sub for something like that. Plus c. Okay. we got to go back to the original variable of the problem. Yes. So we're going to make a detour through u land, and then get all the way back to x's. To get to u land, we have to draw a triangle, that right? That's right, it's triangle time. And remember, we made the substitution where we let u equal sine theta. So that's the same as u over one is sine theta. So here's my triangle, here's theta. Sine of theta is the ratio of the opposite over hypotenuse side. So the missing side is going to be square root 1 minus u squared. Now, everything's looking great. It's just notice here we have sine 2 theta, and I only have a theta triangle. So yes, we got to bust out our double angle identity before we can proceed. So this is going to be 1 fourth times theta plus, and then hopefully you remember sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. So then the 1 half and the 2 cancels. Oh, so lovely. And then this is just sine theta times cosine theta plus c sitting out here. Okay, so here we go, 1 fourth. Now what do you do when you've just got this like weird theta all by itself? You go back here. What substitution did I make? I let u equal sine theta. So that's equivalent to saying sine inverse of u is equal to theta. 
and then here sine of theta that's just u and then cosine theta cosine's ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse so that would be square root 1 minus u squared and then plus c okay and then last thing last thing we got to go back remember we had let u equal x squared originally so i'll write this as 1 fourth sine inverse of x squared plus x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared squared is x to the fourth like they had it in the problem originally plus c voila you can box this with pride that was a job well done you guys this was straight out of the homework i always go over homework in the beginning of class they told me put this one on the youtube they liked it i might have done it already it's a classic problem but it's nice because you got to use more than one integration technique now i know some of you guys like to do really clever substitutions and whatnot so if you solve this without trig sub or if you did something different let me know in the comments below i love reading your alternate solutions and I'm always trying to prep my students, get them hyped, because the math club is going to host an integration bee where I teach um, in November. So I'm like, you guys, we got to get ready. And you guys got to be quick, too. So I'm always trying to teach them the slick tricks so they're very efficient. I want, them, I want one of them to win, you know. All right, that's it. <laughs> Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't checked out my full length video lecture playlist that I have for Calc 1, 2, 3, I'm even working on AP calculus a b and i'm putting together uh, playlists for ap pre-calc then check them out also don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok math with professor v i will be back sooner than later Woo! bye guys <laughs>